Okay, we have successfully installed SQL Server. Click Next. Now, if you go and see, we have one more SQL Server resource group. Okay, uh, it is being the owner of the the resource is node one, the current owner, and that is the only owner because we didn't install SQL Server on the node two. If we go and see the properties for the SQL Server network name, advanced policies, you will see node one, not node two. Okay, now we need to go to the node 2 and install the SQL Server I mean um, add the node add the node 2 for the new resource group click installation now to join this node to the new SQL Server failover cluster we need to select this option add node to the failover cluster Okay, everything seems to be fine. There are some warnings. We can ignore that because uh, even we had the cluster verification warning last time. .NET application security cannot connect to internet. That is fine. Network binding. That is fine. Click next. Next. And here we are we are adding this node to this instance okay this is the only available instance failover cluster instance that we can add so we are adding the node to to this instance it is automatically selected as you can see for this instance already the node 2 is there so there are two nodes so this is the only available instance click next Next, 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 install. Okay, the installation will take some time. I will pass the video here.